Because wrestling now, the product is you. Like, How do you mean? Like you as a wrestler, you are a product until course, yeah. until you're in like the WWE. So you've yeah. got to make yourself this marketable product um, and then make someone like WWE notice you and want you for whatever reason. So today <laughs> we're talking about pro wrestling um, and I have next to me here a guy who's been wrestling for roughly you say eight, nine, uh, eight years? and a half years since I started okay. training probably. Um, his name is Michael Moretti um, and the best way I think for me to set the tone is to tell the story of how I met you. <laughs> I met you um, through a mutual friend who said that we both had to meet each other, you knew her through working Work, with her, yeah. I knew her through going to school and she said you two have to meet each other so she set us up online and gave each other each other's emails. MSN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so we spoke on <laughs> MSN Messenger and then after we like flirted online for a while we, you were eventually like I did this backyard wrestling thing and we should meet. Yeah. And so I turned out to find Michael um, <laughs> and like 10 other guys all dressed in black sitting in the gutter with like the back of a hatchback open with Papa Roach last resort blasting and that was like my first impression. So wrestling for you. Um, it's, it's kind of a mixture of this athleticism, athleticism and sport mixed with like this drama and, and storytelling. Yeah. And it's the combination of that together that, that, that is wrestling that has made me love it and the way that you can tell so many different stories through this art form if you will. Mm. Um, and I love sort of being able to be a character and you know get in front of the camera to cut a promo for a match and then get yeah. in there and have the crowd react to, to what I'm doing as a completely different individual yeah. um, and then have their investment in who's going to win this match because of the two people that are in it or the two yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, individuals. Because you, you are like quite physically gifted. Like you, you were given like, you know, you won the genetic lottery. So you already <laughs> went, went in. Well, like, so some of the lotteries. Yeah, keep the hat on. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. So I've always had a real great metabolism and yeah. it's kind of just fit. And also out. like you can move pretty well. Yeah. Agility wise, I was, I was trying to think of an agilistically speaking, but that word doesn't exist. <laughs> so yeah, agility wise, yeah. I guess I go, all right. I've been talking to mates about like what mobility work I can do to just help loosen my body up. I found yes. this. Um, You're not very flexible, are you? Like a two by four man. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Are, are you more so now than you? Yeah, a little make? bit, a little bit. Like my my hamstrings are impressively flexible now. Like I can like okay. all the way over my foot and shit. I mean, we got beat up a lot on the first day because we did a lot and a lot of drills based on bumps and rolls and chops and strikes. Yeah. Um. So that was painful, but it's not like I didn't expect it. The yeah. most surprising thing for me was actually more on a political level coming in and there's just this hierarchy in wrestling. And like etiquette. That, yeah, and that like it's it's softened up I feel now in like the local scene anyway, maybe mm. just because a lot of people have realised we're not really superstars. We're kind of just a bunch of dudes trying to do something that we love. Yeah. Um, I mean, but there's still that, that sense of like when you're a rookie, you, you know, you've got to pay your dues, you've got to pay your respects, you've got to... You know, look up to everyone. So like, like it's like that in like in any job that you start. You know, you, when, like any, when you yeah. when you enter, you're at entry level. But yeah. there was just this real focus on it in wrestling, where like if you didn't abide by that, you were really looked down on, yeah. and you really had to kiss ass at the beginning. And yeah. like I came in just expecting to be able to socialize with these people that are like minded, and I'm like, oh, okay, I have to be a little bitch for a bit first. And I think like I, I didn't adjust to that straight away. Like, why do you think it is that wrestling, and it is, like, the black sheep of entertainment? You know what I mean? Because, like, you look at WrestleMania, right, and it's, yeah. like, 80,000 people there, and they're able to pack out arenas five days a week all over the world, and, like, they've got their own network, and and yet, it's still, and they produce The Rock, who's the biggest movie star of all time, or one of, you know, yeah, but yeah. he's a one He was the highest grossing action, action star last year. Last year or, year or whatever, like yeah, 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 yeah. Like, why is it that it's still not held in any regard? Mainstream. Because it's a bunch of half-naked dudes in oil pretending to fight each other? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fact that because, maybe because it's at an act or fake or whatever you want to call it, 
and it's, it, it worked so long to try and hide that fact and everyone's like well now we know the truth we're going to expose you we feel the need to it's lost credibility yeah in like you know you tried to pretend it was real we all know it's not now so stop trying to pretend what do you think about USC oh, get multi-dimensional and uh, what do you think I, about I, I, I you USC? Me too. I love them, and I love them both for completely different reasons. But like, how do you? What do you feel like the correlation is between UFC and WWE? Because like my take, I feel like UFC have taken all the stuff WWE used to do great and have started applying it themselves. Yeah, and they've started to eclipse WWE in the ways that WWE used to, like have established. Do you know what I mean? Like in the way they marketed McGregor. I was gonna say in the theatrics of it and doing these press exactly. releases and hyping fights and stuff. So like, to me at least, MMA has a, had a bit of an impact where I it's harder to blur the lines. Well it's because it's yeah. harder to suspend disbelief, I think. Because MMA is out and it's real. And yeah. Like and it, yeah. Punching each other and maybe, yeah. Because it's presenting a similar product but it's competitive. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like Does that make sense? Yeah, like it's, I guess it's similar, but at the same time, it is a different product. They look for those authentic moments, which don't always happen. Like you can have fights that just go, that was boring as batshit. Mm -hmm. Because nothing really happens, and it's like not that exciting. Whereas wrestling, the idea is trying to structure the match, so that no matter what, it's put together so that it's exciting for one reason or another. So there's, there's structure yeah. um, that is taken from story and narrative to make it entertaining and I think that's where wrestling sort of Has continues to build its foundations in that. And I mean, sometimes those authentic stories are just unreal and you know, you can't script that yeah. kind of stuff happens. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, it's really hard to sort of pick where the edge is. I mean, and the fan base, like it's, a lot of them cross over, but a lot of them are just so different. True, that true, like, true. A lot of people that love MMA hate wrestling because, oh, this is real and that's just pussies. And then on the other side, you've got wrestling with like, oh, but it's exciting. MMA is just barbaric. They're just, you know, killing themselves. So, yeah. like, you've got this world of 7 billion people. And like we were just saying, no one's ever going to agree. So I guess it just... I've been fortunate enough not to suffer too many serious head injuries. Have you had, honestly... I've had concussions before. I was going to say, have you had, um, like, have you, have you been injury-wise? You haven't had anything too serious. I've never had a major injury, touch wood. Mm. Um, I've done, like, a couple of sprains or pulled muscles. Um suspected like little minor fractures in my foot never got it checked up so it could have been anything yeah um and i've had some light concussions none that ever lasted more than that night by the time i woke up the next day i was completely fine yeah i mean i hear stories people getting concussed and like a week later they're still feeling they a bit. Lose a and i'm just like shit like i'm so glad that didn't happen to me mm. um but yeah like i don't think about it but i do like in the sense that i don't sit there and i'm like oh man what am i doing to myself but from time to time i'm like shit i'm really putting my body through the wars here mm. so that's mm. i guess why you just gotta try to be as safe as you can yeah, yeah um yeah. And, and i guess that plays into the doing more than is necessary side of things like the less you can do and get away with and still get the point across yeah the better it is for your well-being yeah um, what do you because nxt seems to be doing something right where they're like presenting it well it's a bit refreshing it's yeah. interesting it's and simple they're grabbing from like the independent circuit from like hot Sort of talent, I guess. Well, yeah. I was trying to train football players like that. You know, like, the classic smart. style. Um, and all timers. Who are your all timers? Oh, well, you already know. Matt Hardy was like my ultimate favorite as I grew up. So is the goal for you to get to WWE? Yeah, of for course. sure. So how do you envision that? Are you like, I need to? I've been doing this eight years. I've gotten because I feel like you're at the right age, physically, and the right experience level. Yeah. So now is the time almost. Pretty much, so, I reckon so, yeah. yeah. So what do you see as like the next steps to do it? There's so many steps you can take. Like, um, I exactly. guess what I want to do is aim to try and get tryout. Like, that's sort of the first step. And I've got a few people who have certain connections that may be able to line certain things up. So it's just a matter of speaking to the right people, trying to find an opportunity, making sure I'm ready when and if that comes around. Yes. This is, this is tame for me sitting here on this lounge talking. Like I've been super like normal. And I'm not a normal person by any means. So I just, to get out and do those kinds of crazy things, make films. I like, I've started getting into writing heaps even. Well, um, you're very much a jack of all trades. Like this would appeal, because I mean- Master of all trades. Mushroom, not even that. <laughs> but I think you're someone who loves to like dabble yeah. in these different stuff. So it probably but affords the, you the opportunity to. The, the grounding thing is stories. Like wrestling, stories, movies, stories, writing, stories, the video games, and like developing games that I love, stories. Like I've, I've found that that's the core to all the things that I'm really passionate about, is all to do with storytelling. 
So that's where all my interest lies in all those kinds of things. And if I can get, if I can open up a bunch of doors through wrestling, I'm like, oh sweet, now that I'm an established wrestler, people know who I am. I can like, if I get a couple of movies, I could write scripts, people go, oh, I know that, I, I recognize that name, maybe it's worth considering reading this front page. Front page is good enough opportunity. Mm. I can come back here and start, you know, the McMurray School of Pro Wrestling and really take it somewhere. They're like, ah, oh, having that brand name helps to open up more opportunity and I can start ticking all these boxes and getting those life goals so that I don't die at the age of 51 and having not, <laughs> not achieved anything. I feel like that's as good a place as any to end. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Matt. Matt. <laughs>